Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a tutorial about how I'm trying to use Lightroom for most of my editing now and doing about 95% of my editing in Lightroom and just doing the sort of any detail work that I find easier to do in Photoshop and Photoshop as opposed to just kind of using Lightroom just for white balance and um, syncing that across the session and then going into Photoshop to do the majority of my adjustments. And this is um, an image that I edited solely in Lightroom and um, you can see that there's um, some redness around this little boy's mouth that, oops, didn't mean to do that. I've got to get out of here. Um, he developed some sort of rash in the middle of our shooting. And this sort of thing, um, I find just easier to edit in Lightroom, uh, um, in Photoshop, I'm sorry. So I did take that out when in Photoshop after I finished editing the rest in, in Lightroom. So I don't want to mislead you and say that I did this image completely just in Lightroom, but really that's all I did in Photoshop. So um, I'm going to show you how I got here, and I started with that. So this image looks incredibly underexposed, and it actually is very underexposed um, in terms of the subject. But if you look at the histogram, you can see that I was trying not to blow any detail here, which is where it's starting to, it was pretty light in some of these areas like this here. Um, so I was, you know, using my histogram, and this is what I came up with, so clearly we need to lighten him up. But primarily what I want to do, because this was a fall shoot, is I really wanted, I want to get the richness of fall and the fall colors that were um, here at, at the site where we shot, but I want to kind of enhance them. So previously what I would have done is, in Photoshop, I would have selected the background and done some adjustments on it to make it really pop. But in Lightroom, the way the smarter way to go about it is to actually do all of your adjustments for the background and then just lighten up your subject after. Well, I'll show you because it makes much more sense when you see it. So, of course, um, I'm just going to kind of go over the major adjustments that I did to the image. Um, obviously, this image is much too cool, so we're going to adjust the white balance here. And I shoot with a digital gray card, so um, I had a good starting point there. Um, what I'm actually going to do is kind of counterintuitive, but I'm going to Oops, wrong way. I'm going to decrease the exposure. And the reason for doing that is because that's going to give the background much more richness when we add some saturation. Um, I did add some fill light because um, be, just to lift the shadows in his face a little bit. And I always add some blacks um, until this part of the histogram touches the bottom and sometimes even more. Um, and it, for this image, I did about 13. That just adds some contrast and some blacks in there. And I did up the brightness a little bit. Left the contrast where it was. And I definitely increased the colors with the vibrance quite a bit. So this actually is at 45, and the saturation is at 13. So now you can see we're starting to get some rich colors in the background. And of course, the subject looks terrible, but we're going to take care of that in a little bit. Um, I added a little bit of midtone brightening, like a tiny, tiny bit, by adding a point to this curve here and pulling this point down just a tad. And lastly, to get some nice richness around him, I added a bit of a vignette. So we're going to do that. Um, where did, oops, sorry, I keep hitting that button. It's very annoying. Okay, so the amount of my vignette was just eight, oops, which is actually pretty strong. And I made the midpoint 57. So now we have the image completely edited for the background. So obviously we need to brighten this guy up quite a bit in here. So um, I'm going to use the adjustment brush and my D, I'm going to put it on dodge because that increases the exposure to 23. Um, I actually want to lighten it up quite a bit so I'm going to make that point 40. What did I use here? Point, oh, point 39. Not too much brighter. And then I also increase the brightness a bit, quite a bit. And I added a tiny bit of contrast back in because when you brighten sometimes you lose some contrast. So now um, I'm going to just paint that brush in that lightning and I'm going to turn the press the O key so you can see where I have the adjustment painted in. I'm avoiding this area of his face that's already quite bright and if I go too far I just have to hit the erase key and 
maybe erase back some of my adjustment. Um, so I definitely don't want to get any blowouts here. Um, now I'm going to lighten in here a little bit as well, but I'm going to use a bigger brush just so it's a little bit softer. I kind of like how his jeans are popping because they're so dark, so I'm probably going to leave that. I'm going to use the um, left bracket tool to make my brush smaller and come in and lighten up his hand a little bit. And maybe his ears too, so they're not quite so red. And there are a couple other little adjustments I could do. Um, I could burn, I could do another, by clicking new, another brush adjustment to dodge um, inside in the highlights here. So make my brush really, really tiny. And it just pops those highlights right there. And I could do a new adjustment and I could do burn, bring down my exposure quite a bit and I can um, darken the rim around his eyes and his lash line a little, etc., cetera, et cetera. And now I just want to show you one other thing that was new for me that I did in the shoot. You know what? I'm, he's looking a little bit too dark in here for me. So I'm going to find the adjustment that I did for his, um, oh, I'm just going to do a new adjustment, a new um, dodge. And I'm going to go ahead and just brighten up in here a little bit more. And I can always, once I have my brush painted on, I can go in here and lighten things up. Okay, so turning off the brush. The other thing that trick that I learned um, editing this session is to use the split toning to kind of control your skin tones a little bit. Um, the reason for that is that split tones are highlights. I'm sorry, skin tones are highlights. So you're controlling the highlight color here. Um, and I did that by doing hue, sorry, saturation 11, not the purple hue, that's the default, but 70, which is a more golden color. It's a little bit green. I probably could adjust that a little. And then I added some blue into the shadows, um, also 11 saturation. And the hue that I used was 37. You can see as I'm moving along the colors how much this is affecting the image. So the split toning just gives you an additional tool other than white balance to control the colors, the overall colors, and some end the skin tone a bit. Now if I wanted to go ahead um, and sync this, all of this to a new image, I could do that. The only thing I would need to change is where the adjustment brush is. Um, where it was painted, but that's much easier to do. It's really fast to sync all of this and then just control, um, erase a little bit where the adjustment moves, um, which I'll show you really quickly on another image. I'm going to sync these changes, all of these changes, including the local adjustments to another image. Then I'm going to click to that other image right now. And you can see the lightning we did um, is not in the right place because he's obviously in a different place in the image. So um, I'm just going to delete those other adjustments. Um, and I'm going to leave the one where we brightened him so that it's consistent with the one before. And I'm just going to hit the O key so I can see where it is. Oops, where did it go? I thought it was here. Oh, that's the other one. Oh, maybe I deleted it. All right, we'll start again. So I remember that my dodging was 29, I think, and my brightness was 45. So I just have to go all I need to do is paint back in that brightness and it's much 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 quicker on the second time around so once you kind of spend some time really fine-tuning one image it's really fast to then sync all your changes to another image that's it let me know in the comments if you have any questions